little speech I thought I just, uh, yeah, 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 this is awesome. I'd love to see you guys out here. Hope you have a good time. It's really a abrasive, cynical, but humorous, uh, full of heart movie that I hope you enjoy. Uh, it includes me as the star, <laughs> Alexis Cortash, um, Allison Blair, Caitlin Morris Cornfield, who's on her way, <laughs> and Nicholas Portis, Will King, Anastasia Bobovic. Uh, oh, sorry guys, I'm bad at this mic shit. <laughs> okay, uh, so yeah, um, what to say? Uh, uh, aside from those seven people, myself included, making the film, there's the 40 other actors in the film, some of you are here tonight, thanks for coming out. Um, yeah, and then about 30 crew, special thanks to two people after that. Uh, yeah, okay, sorry I'm a little long-winded, but uh, you know, I'll do my best here. And my height is really, okay. <laughs> uh, if I'm talking too directly in, just let me know. Um, Okay, so uh, the film's production has been a very long journey. We started writing J July 2012, and it, uh, we uh, finished shooting August 2014. And sorry, okay, got me. <laughs> um, yeah, so a lot of yums and yas. Uh, it's been a journey, more ups than downs, and it was a wonderful experience, and I'm really happy that uh, it happened. Uh, so, in leading up to this evening, and I'm sorry that I'm screwing up the mic, uh, I was thinking of funny, interesting speeches I could tell you guys, you know, uh, and then I thought, uh, I had this one kooky one, and I was going to like take quotes from famous movies that would have inspired or influenced me in some way to make this movie, and I wanted to have one of the actors come up and we would do like a minute play and play it out. It was a bit too busy, didn't have time for that. Feel free to steal that from me if you like, uh, or I'll lose myself on that. Uh, so, but then early this week on Sunday, I came up with a really cool idea. I thought, uh, I'm going to unleash some information about my second feature film, which uh, is pretty much in the dark. A lot of you don't know about it. Many of you, I'm really sorry, guys. There's a call, so I'm going to quickly take that. <laughs> She's on her way. She's okay. Cool. Uh, anywho, okay. <laughs> As I was saying, so yes, uh, I came up with a funky idea. I'm gonna read you guys the the very first synopsis that I've written for my second feature film. Uh, it's been a long year. It's been a long process. Uh, sorry, I'm all over the place. <laughs> uh, okay. You know, what, guys, we're gonna cut for two seconds, and I will be right back. <laughs> Okay, yes, yeah, so my second feature film, it's uh, very much uh, in the mystery, dark. Uh, many people have asked me about it, uh, what's the title, Jordan, what's it about? And I was like, ah, I don't feel comfortable talking about it until I'm done writing it. We're very close to finishing it, I'm up to 172 pages. I'm over writing it, it's going to be 200 pages as a rough draft. We're going to, you know, obviously compare it down to 90, 120 pages for the finished film. Uh, anyways, I'm really excited about that film as much as I am. Sorry, I see Briggs covering his face, so I feel the mic. No, yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, I'll, you guys can hear me, right? You don't need yeah, this, right? Okay, yeah. awesome, okay. Um, so, yes, I'm very excited about the second feature film as much as I am the this first feature film, Hardly Boiled, you're about to see. Uh, it's very much in the same kind of style and spirit of uh, what you're going to watch tonight. So I thought, you know, getting excited for the second film was equally as the first film, because the future is completely open for Hardly Boiled and the next film coming up. And I thought we'd speak cookie way to, you know, do something funny, touching, and hopefully you guys will have the cockles of your hearts warmed. Okay. Um, you will also get a trailer to the second feature film tonight. The title I've not mentioned to anybody. We have a poster, which one of our illustrators on the film, Rob Mursky, is here tonight. He did a poster for the teaser film, uh, a teaser poster for the second film, which we'll unveil tonight. So you'll get the title for the first time. It's not anything mind blowing, but it's really kind of kooky. I like the way it sounds after Hardly Boiled. So you'll get what it is. It's the first trailer tonight. Then there's a couple Tarantino things, which you guys out there know me. You'll probably like what you see. Uh, so three trailers, then the film. Uh, but before uh, any of that, I would like for anyone here who was part of Hardly Boiled cast crew, special thanks to, please come, um, come up on the stage, get a picture, or do say Hardly Boiled and smile. Uh, so come on up. <laughs> It's fun. Oh, look good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You want me to take a picture? Oh, yeah, yeah. Come get closer together. Uh, oh, oh, I was going to say, uh, from, the bottom, from the bottom of my heart, 
Thank you so much to all of you. Uh, it's a collaborative experience making a motion picture, as you all know, and I couldn't have done it without you. I hope that doesn't sound really corny and cliche, but I, I really couldn't have dreamed of this if it wasn't for you guys, so thank you. Um, okay, so here is the synopsis of my second feature film. I've uh, put uh, the, the word blank as its title when I say the title, so I'm not giving it away. And uh, I will say it's 2017 after it, because 2017 is when the film is coming out. Okay, so here we go. Are we all ready? Yeah! Sweet. Connecting to a quasi-web series entitled Frank Thompson Originals, 2010 to 2014, created by actor and movie maker Jordan Richards, comes Richards' <laughs> second feature film, Blank, 2017. Uh, a strange bird by the name of Frank Thompson Richards finds himself coming from a series of bizarre episodes from the web series into this feature film. After the first half of Frank's 30s being spent in the city of Toronto under mysterious circumstances, he finds himself uh, residing in Florida for his 35th year under the same set of mysterious circumstances. Uh, the year is 2015 and the season's spring. After coming uh, home from work rather despondent one night, uh, Frank is invited over to his neighbor's house for dinner. Enter the family Custer. Comprising of husband and wife Wolfgang and Eva, and Wolfgang's teenage sister Alexandra, the four of them spend an unpredictable evening of modern family life with one another. All the mysterious questions surrounding Frank's past are exposed in this tale of modern American living with his newfound friends, the Custers. Come see what Richards himself calls an innocent sort of who's afraid of Virginia Woolf, yet still R-rated kind of tale that may also <laughs> seem like Star Wars meets an Oliver Stone sort of universe. It's rip-roaring and vulgar black comedy for the ages. Thank you very much, guys. Right. Thank you.